Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to do a quick video on how to change your um, Zoom account name or display name on your phone because it's probably a bit trickier. It's easier to do on your computer because you log in and just go to your profile. But on this left here, this is my iPad. I'm going to show you what the, the, the meeting person gets. I've got a meeting open and I've emailed my phone uh, to say there's a Zoom meeting, right? So when you come to your Zoom, you obviously install Zoom and it takes your display name off your phone, right? So mine did say Paul's iPhone. I've actually been playing around. So you'll get an email and I'm going to click on it, which will just open Zoom and we will see um, when the host lets you in, uh, the invite, and here's Paul's new admit, right? So if I, if I leave this again, let me leave, leave me in. So you'll see there is nothing there at the minute on the host, right? So I'm going to go back. It just said Paul new, right? So that's probably what you don't want, right? Um, so I'm just going to go back again and click, right? So just to show, when you join the meeting, Paul new has joined the meeting, right? But you don't want to be Paul new because that might say uh, iPhone GS, iPhone something, right? So what you need to do... If you don't want us to log into your Zoom account, right, so I'm going to leave again, is you're going to need to copy and paste this information. If you open Zoom and click join a meeting, now there it says Paul New, but I might want that to say uh, Paul Nico, right? I want to come up Paul Nico. And if I just enter that, it looks like it's saved, but when you go back, to the meeting and join it's still going to say Paul New. you're like bloody hell it's still my own account right so there's two ways to edit it so it saves it the first way if you do not want a zoom account you do not want to sign up for zoom but you have to have the zoom app you just want to change that name then what you need to do is go again to uh, zoom so we're going to leave the meeting we're going to go, go to Zoom. Before you click the link on the email, you're going to click Zoom. Join a meeting. Type in what you want your name to be. So Paul Nico. Right? Press return. Now what we need to do is go back to the email and get the meeting ID, which is this information here. Right? So copy this. You only have, you only have to do this step once to change your name. Put that in there, paste it, right, and join. It's going to ask you now for a password, which is under here. This is the password. i got fat fingers. That's why I don't use a phone very often. Come on. I'm going to copy the password, go back to Zoom, and paste it in. Right. So this time, Paul Nico is trying to join. And we can admit and... Uh, do whatever, right? So I can admit, comes on your phone, you join the meeting, right? You're in. Paul Nico is in the meeting. Cool. So we're going to leave the meeting. And just to show you, um, we're going to leave the meeting. I'm going to close the meeting and I'm going to open another meeting just to show that that next that set that name now will have been saved so you haven't signed up for zoom you haven't given zoom any of your information right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close the meeting end the meeting end the meeting for all um and that is zoom done uh join a meeting so do a meeting right i'm just gonna pause you while i launch a new meeting right so i've just launched a new meeting and the email, oh, the email should be through on the phone. So we're going to go to this new meeting. Here's the new meeting. So this is the next time. So just to show you, you don't have to keep doing it every time. Join a meeting. Now this time I'm going to click the phone. It's going to automatically jump in. And Paul Nico has entered the conversation, right? You, don't, you can see it up here. Paul Nico. If I, uh, if I go here. Paul Nico. So it's remembered the new name. It's not remembered your phone. So what you need to do is what I'm saying is let's leave the meeting. Let's just go through it one more time. 
when you get the email, if your name isn't correct, close the close the Gmail or your email account, open up Zoom, and join a meeting. If you want to change this and you want to be Paul Nicholson, return it, go back to the message, copy the meeting ID, and paste it. Join. It's going to ask you for the password. Go back and get the password. Oh, fat fingers. Come on, fat fingers. Get out of here. Copy the password. Go in. Paste. Continue. And you will be Paul Nicholson has entered the room, right? So... That is how to do it if you do not want a Zoom account and you, uh, but you need to change it. You have to put the meeting ID and you can change your name. So if you were your mates and you want to do something funny, change your name, put the meeting ID in. But remember, if you go to a professional meeting or a job interview or something, it's going to remember what you put in. Um, the, other, the other way is to actually have a Zoom account. And when you are logged in, you can change it through your Zoom account, Zoom account, right? So I'm not going to go through um, the Zoom account setup because I think if you um, sign up for an account, you just go to my profile and change the name, save it. But what you need to do is before you click on this link, if you click on this link, it will log you in without your Zoom account. If you're not logged in. If you're not signed in, right? If you're not signed in with your Zoom account, it won't let you in. So make sure if you don't want a Zoom account or, or, or understand you're not logged in all the time on your phone, you're going to be taking that first setting. It will just take um, whatever's set up here every time. I don't know why Zoom do it but it logs you out. It logs you out of Zoom. So make sure you firstly, either you're logged in or change that information and then enter it in. Hopefully that made sense. I know I dragged it out in the end, but if it doesn't, let me know. Cheers.